Team, keep it clean. We are at 70,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for every single body that's a part of that. I appreciate you a whole lot more than you realize. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get let's see how fast we can get to 71,000 subscribers. Cause I know to get to 70,000 took a long time. <laughs> it took a while, but let's see how fast we can get to 71,000. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tell all your friends, whether they Ravens fans or not about the channel tell them to come through because we have a good time on here man but anyway john harbaugh <laughs> i think somebody slipped that boy some truth serum or something because this is like uncharacteristic of harbaugh to to give us so many like detailed facts especially about injuries with players that are both playing and some that have not played and some that have played and then they ain't playing no more but anyway john harbaugh in oppressor yesterday he gave us like Detailed info on David Ajabo, on Tyus Bowser, and on Ronnie Stanley. Let's get into it with David Ajabo. Because uh, David Ajabo, he played earlier this season. And we know things have been kind of weird because a couple of months ago when David Ajabo started missing time, Harbaugh said, which, which made a lot of us scared, especially me. I was very, very worried. Uh, and thank goodness they ended up signing Kyle Vinoy. But what made a lot of us scared was that Harbaugh didn't say that David Ajabo had knee knee issues he didn't even say David Ajabo had ankle issues he said David Ajabo has knee and ankle issues he said it was a bit of both so I'm like oh my goodness like this second round pick from last year missed most of the season with a torn Achilles then he came at the end of the season and played like a game and change and then this is supposed to be the year where he goes off and shows like why he's supposed to be a top five top ten pick at the latest and then I know early on this season, like in preseason and stuff, a lot of people were saying, oh, he, he don't look himself. He don't look right. He don't look like he's all the way a, a, a go yet. And I, I didn't notice it myself, but y'all know football much better than me. And y'all were right. Y'all were right. So he had been dealing with issues the entire season. And then those issues, they end up taking him out. But Harbaugh was very mum on it. He was very vague about it. He was very quiet about it. And then week went by, weeks went by, week after week after week. And it was like, hey, hey, wait, what's, what's up with Ajabo? What's going on with Ajabo? Any updates on David Ajabo? Harbaugh be, like, Harbaugh be like, no, 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 we don't got nothing yet. Nothing. But to, well, yesterday, he let us know that David Ajabo just had surgery on <coughs> a partially torn ACL. And I was like, oh, okay, Harbaugh. Whoa, whoa. Well, thanks for letting us know. Um, he said that David Ajabo, and now he did tell us this a couple of weeks ago. He said that David Ajabo had been uh, wa wondering if he was going to try to do rehab or if he was going to just get the surgery. So I guess that decision was made. Harbaugh talked about how uh, he obviously really wanted to play. He wanted to get out there. But he said that every expert that he talked to said, get the surgery. Just get the surgery so it can be clean next year so you can be good to go. So Harbaugh let us know that David Ajabo got the surgery. And by the latest, he should be back by training camp. By the latest. So hopefully he is. Uh, hopefully no setbacks. Hopefully it, it is a clean surgery and that's that. But that does officially end David Ajabo's season. Even though, like... Like, y'all are smart. Y'all already knew something big was up with David Ajabo. Y'all already knew something was going on. Because, again, he just got ghosts for weeks, for weeks, and we hadn't heard nothing. And we know that's always a bad sign. So, David Ajabo, his season is over. So, he has played, I think they said he played in, like, five games for the Ravens thus far. And, again, last year was more of a red shirt type of thing, but this year was supposed to be the one. And, no, we, we just didn't get it. So, that's unfortunate for David Ajabo. So, hopefully... Uh, same thing we were saying last year. We got to say it this year, too. Hopefully, uh, next season, he'll be back, and he'll be good to go. So that's that. Because, uh, again, this season, going into this football season, we were just really envisioning, all right, David Ajabo, Adafe away. Oh, they're going to get to play together, and those going to be our pass rushers of the future, and let's get it. But it just never quite worked out. Even though um, with Adafe away, it's weird because with Adafe away, early on this season, he wasn't really making too many plays. Then he got hurt. He came back. I don't know what he did when he was hurt, but he came back and he been a whole different, completely new Adafe away. That man's been killing it, man. So shout out to Adafe away. Whatever you did when you were hurt, I guess he got some new foul motivation or something because that man has been on a tear. So shout out to number 99. Now, um, somebody else 
Blackpool has been MIA literally all season. It's, it's just been a big mystery has been Tyus Bowser. We've been wondering, like, what's up with Tyus Bowser? Is he ever going to play this year? What's going on with Tyus Bowser? He is currently on the NFI list. Now, I do not believe that I'm, I'm not sure what the Ravens have worked out with him. But if somebody's on the NFI list, the non-football injury related list, the team doesn't have to pay them. They are not obligated to pay them because whatever injury they got going on, it's a non-football injury. So that's on the, pl that's on the player. That's not on the team. So I, I don't know how the Ravens are with that. I don't know what the, the deal is. I don't know if they're paying him or not. So I can't really speak on that, but they're not obligated to. So that like, ooh, because I know if, if it's me and somebody like, like you, you're not getting paid from your job, <laughs> speaking from experience, that's tough. That's tough. That could make you look at people all kind of ways, look at them sideways and whatnot, and have you feeling all types of ways. If your job is not paying you now, if you messed up, which we did, even though YouTube wasn't clear about it. But anyway, another story for another day. Um, with Tyus Bowser, if you messed up off of the job and it's affecting you on the job, then that's, hey, that's, that's the business, man. But anyway, John Harbaugh spoke on Tyus Bowser, and he said that with Tyus Bowser, it's his knee. His knee, uh, he said once his knee calms down, then he'll be back out there. But he did say, and hey, I said, John, hold on, you've you be, you be, you been watching the videos for years. Huh? We've been saying that about some players. But anyway, he said that anything we get out of Tyus Bowser this year, if he comes out there this year, if he plays this year, it'll be a bonus. And yeah, I, that's pretty much how I think every Ravens fan has been looking at this whole Tyus Bowser situation uh, this year. Because we thought... That he was going to play this year We thought that Because again There were the reports Early on in the season Oh yeah Tyus Bowser's on an adjacent field He's practicing on an adjacent field Running Oh not practicing But running on an adjacent field Working out da, 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 da. So it was like Alright Hey He's getting closer He's getting closer But then we stopped hearing those reports We ain't hearing about him no more And it was like Oh uh, Okay What is going on with Bowser Week after week Harbaugh would be asked about Bowser Nothing then it got to that really weird point where Harbaugh was like, I'll let Bowser tell you about it. I'll let him comment on it. Bowser commented on it. Uh, shout out to Rita and Glenn Clark. Um, but he said that oh, I'm trying to get out there. I'm getting better and better. I'm getting more and more healthy. So I'm trying. So it, it, it was just it got to a really weird spot at that point. But now Harbaugh said, hey, that is, it's his knee. His knee is acting up. And if his knee calms down, then he'll be back. So Ajabo officially out for the year. Bowser. Been out the whole year. Will he come back? I ain't counting on it, man. I, and I don't think any of y'all are either. It'd be nice if he could. But then at the same time, like, if Bowser does come back, what do you do with him? Where do you put him at? Because w what would his role even be? Because Ravens defense is doing their thing. And I, I like how somebody put it. Um, and they, they were just talking about the Ravens in general. But they said, when you when you cooking something, you're cooking something, maybe you're cooking like a, a soup or something like that. And you got that soup, it, it, it's right. You got it tasting right. It's like, ooh, it's so good right there. You don't want to add too much to it. Because if you add too much to it, if you overdo it, then it'll be like, ooh, it, it may not be as good. Now, I'm not saying Bowser would take away from the demon, but at the same time, he would be on a limited snap count, I'm sure. They're not going to be like, all right, Bowser, you're out there full time. No, they're they not going to do that. So what would his role be? Now, of course, the more the merrier and the more quality depth, the better. But where would you fit him in that, especially at this point of the season with his knee injury or whatever it is that's going on? What, what would his role be? So that'd be something to think about. Now, <coughs> excuse me, somebody who does clearly have a role on this team and has had a role on this team for a long time is Ronnie Stanley. And with Ronnie Stanley, um, fans can clearly see that Ronnie Stanley uh, of now is not the Ronnie Stanley of before. And he has been struggling. There have been a countless amount of plays where Ronnie Stanley, it just, it's rough, man. It, it looks really rough and consistently rough, especially in pass protection. Uh, we see so many times where Ronnie Stanley just straight up gets pushed back. Um, and he is not the same Ronnie Stanley that we have known before. And it's just, things are different. Things are definitely different. Um, but Harbaugh, which I was very surprised about, Harbaugh actually acknowledged Ronnie Stanley's injury 
And this is what he said. He said uh, that things, they haven't been great uh, with Ronnie Stanley. And he said that he's battling what he, what, with what he's battling through with his knee and ankle. So a double whammy right there. Knee and ankle. Like Harbaugh, the head coach of these Baltimore. Like, again, I, I don't think some of y'all realize how big this is that Jonathan Harbaugh is speaking about injuries so directly, so bluntly, so openly in the middle of a Ravens season. I guess John Harbaugh, like, look, these Ravens fans, they feeling real good right now. We going into the bye week. They probably going to forget everything that I said in about a week and a half anyway. So let me go ahead and get it out. So they can't say nothing about me saying, oh, I don't talk about injuries or whatnot. Let me go ahead and spill all the beans. Let me let them all know what's going on. And we, we sitting at nine and three right now, so they extra happy right now. So anything like that, I can say whatever I want to because they sitting on the end of the ball anyway. But Ronnie Stanley um, dealing with knee and ankle injuries, that is – that's scary stuff. And Harbaugh said that it's impacting his technique and his play. So for him to say that about his left, ta- his starting left tackle in the middle of the season, I'm, sup- I'm very shocked. But I do appreciate the honesty because we see it. We see it. Now, I know John Harbaugh is, is big on competitive advantage. So I wonder, too, at the same time, it's like we, we see how Ronnie Stanley has been really rough for him. Uh, just this this year as a whole, he's, it hasn't been all bad, of course. But um, with Ronnie Stanley, uh, I, I wonder if John Harbaugh, I wonder if the injury that he had or has maybe is not as bad as Harbaugh is indicating, and he's just trying to throw people off. Cause you know, again, you know Harbaugh be playing them games now. You know he be playing them games, or if this still is some of that truth serum uh, that he took uh, yesterday. But. That was that, man. I, I just, I, I really appreciated this. Though. I, I appreciated Harbaugh being a lot more straightforward with us about what's going on with these players. Not that we necessarily deserve it or whatnot, but it's nice to know. Uh, instead of just wondering and thinking and speculating and being like, oh, you know what? I, I think this is happening with Baldwin. I think this is happening with a job. Oh, Ronnie Stanley, I see this and that and a third. And that's cool. We could do that all day, every day. But it's nice to get answers to your questions.